Good morning, everyone. For those of you who are out uh, still getting coffee, you're not going to miss the most important talk of the day. Good morning. Uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Edward Lanfear. Uh, in this capacity, I am the uh, newly elected chairman of the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, and the Alliance is the organizer uh, of the meeting today. And before I go further, I'd like to acknowledge and thank uh, our co-sponsors, our sponsors for the meeting today, uh, starting with uh, our lead banking sponsors. And I have some, I'm getting my glasses on because I have some names I want to make sure I, I recognize. Um, from Piper Jaffrey, I want to recognize Ted Tenhoff. Ted will be uh, chairing and hosting our, our panel right after this. Ted is one of the analysts who's been in this space for a very long time. Uh, I, I hate to say, or, or sorry to say, I knew Ted back when he was working in San Francisco at Robertson Stevens, and he, I think he was 12 at the time. Uh, but Ted is, is at, at Piper along with Josh Shimmer and uh, Jim Douglas, and also at Maxim, uh, Jason Colbert and Eric Chang. So thank you very much for your leadership in sponsoring this conference. It could not be done without you, Jason. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'm not gonna read off all of the others unless you're in the room. Raise your hand and I'll acknowledge it. But otherwise, thank you very much for all of the, the support of this meeting. Again, it couldn't be done without you. And, and also, um, and I think you all know this from your own organizations, if you have a moment just to acknowledge the work of the staff of ARM during the meeting, uh, I know it would be greatly appreciated by them. So uh, thank you. So I just have a, a couple of, of brief comments. I, I, I told somebody this is a little bit like you know, telling you what you already know. But I want to give you a, a sense, uh, maybe even an update for those of you who uh, were at uh, the meeting in, in the State of the Industry talk in, in uh, January in, in San Francisco. But it's been a, a heck of a start of the year. Let me put all of these up so you can, you can see what, a, what I'm talking about. Um, you know, last year, 2014, uh, by any measure, uh, was a, uh, an incredible year, both from a financing perspective, so from an equity perspective, but also from a corporate partnering perspective. And that value, that, that uh, you know, I like to say that gasoline into the tank has really given uh, this sector, this industry, an incredible start uh, for 2014 and, and now into 2015. And you can see in each one of these areas, and in particular, and I'll show you a slide in just a second, in particular in the gene therapy and genetically modified cell therapy space, there's been an incredible amount of, of investor enthusiasm and again, corporate uh, participation, partnering participation. And just to give you, you know, one you know, glimpse of that, 2014 was an incredible year uh, from baseline, uh, starting in, in back in, in the beginning of that year. But since the beginning of the year, since January, uh, the sector continues to rise, continues to go up. And again, most of you know this, but there's been significant amount of follow-on offerings. There's been a, a fair number of, of either IPOs completed or IPOs filed and, and priced. There's also been quite a bit of activity in the, in the partnering space. Again, I'd focus uh, on the white-hot uh, CAR T-cell space being an, an area of, of incredible uh, activities. But this is an area, I think, if, if you look broadly within the biotech sector, is as uh, in, in, in the minds of investors getting a lot of mind share. And if you go back just, just two years ago, you know, this was not a space getting that kind of, of, a, of attention. And so conference like this today, uh, and we're talking about this earlier this morning, is a differentiated conference in terms of the, the focus on advanced therapy companies. So why is it? Why, are the, why the attention? Why the enthusiasm? Why the opportunity? to really invest in these kinds of companies. Well, there's two slides here, and, and, and I'm not gonna go through any of these line items in, in individually. But the point is, and, and I'll make the point on the, the same point on the next slide, give you a chance to look at this one, is that 
you know, over the last, and you can use whatever time unit you want. Uh, we were just talking about, you know, the first generation gene therapy companies. I was talking with, with Malcolm a moment ago about, you know, the earlier generation of, of Novartis's interest in the gene therapy spaces as represented by GTI uh, back in the day. And Olivier and I were talking with Ted just a moment ago about the early days of somatics. These are some of the early retroviral companies and also, you know, AAV companies. And that, that spike of interest, spike of investment went away after a while in, in, in the 2000s, but that level of activity, that level of interest has really laid the foundation for what are now very significant and, and you know, again, we can all talk about probable outcomes, but in terms of significance of clinical momentum, there's an enormous amount of activity. And so there's that slide and then this slide in terms of where are we not just in doing interesting, important, you know, provocative research, but where are we in terms of translating that in terms of, of impact on patients? And that, I think, is really, uh, at least for me, when I take, put on my other hat uh, from the Sangamo perspective, to me, that's what's really driving not only investor enthusiasm, but potentially even the broad-based investor confidence in this space. The other thing that th these data, these this uh, translation drives is a much broader participation in this space by, by big pharma and, and large biotech. And while the capital markets are, are open for business for companies such as ours, it's really the, the, the synergy and the relationships that small companies can, can establish with these larger companies where there's not an enormous amount of, of overlap in terms of core competencies. And it's that kind of partnership that really drives and, and can accelerate that clinical translation towards commercialization. And so this is a list of companies. It, it also happens to be a list of, of companies that are also members of the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, but it's a, a list of companies that are participating actively uh, in this space, and I think that's an important, again, not only catalyst in terms of, you know, that virtuous cycle of investor interest, but it's also an important piece of that clinical translation uh, moving forward. So those are the, the, the main comments I wanted to make. Um, again, I think this is, uh, uh, in my view, and I, I end up going to a lot of these uh, meetings, uh, a differentiated meeting in terms of the companies and the content uh, of, this, of this meeting. And uh, I welcome you all and uh, congratulate you on selecting uh, into a, what is currently a pretty smart group of people. So with that, um, I'm going to introduce my friend Ted Tentoff, who is going to lead the first panel. Thank you very much.